Hey, this is Lee. I want to do a quick video about the crown of thorns that Jesus wore. The questions come to me and I try to answer them the best that I can on the spur. So I'm going to try to answer this. So they put a crown of thorns on his head. So let's go to Matthew 27, 26. Then released he Barabbas unto them and they went and when they had scourged Jesus, he, he delivered him to be crucified. When the soldiers and the governors took Jesus into the common hall, and gathered unto him the whole band of soldiers, meaning everybody was there. They stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. They pulled his clothes off in front of all these people and put on him a scarlet robe. I'm going to try to do this without crying. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hail king of the Jews and they spit upon him and took reeds and smote him on his head and after that they had mocked him they took him they took the robe off of him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to be crucified so the question is is this is a crown of thorns let me get my picture a little bigger so you can see this my first trip to Israel um, they made this for me from the thorns that they made Jesus's from and they plaited it meaning that they they twisted it and made a crown of thorns and it fit on his head like this and the thorns would push into his, his scalp so the question is is why did they do this obviously they did it here it says that they did it to mock him but there's another reason why Jesus wore the crown of thorns and the reason is let's go all the way back to Adam when Adam and Eve ate of the the tree of knowledge they were kicked out of the garden and they went into the world and the Bible says that God told them that they would have to plow the ground and from the ground right here in Genesis 318 thorns also and thistles shall bring forth to to thee and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field so they would go out now and plow the fields and plant and harvest and eat but a part of the curse here was that they'd earn a living from the sweat of their brow and from that there would be thorns and thistles growing in there now you can go along a lot of different parables with this but for this moment let's look at this one so whenever they would plant there the thorns would come and this was a sign of their fall from grace their fall from God they would bring forth thorns and thistles and this was a sign so what is this a crown of thorns see they was they would bear thorns and thistles and Jesus when he they beat him and mocked him he would wear the thorns of Adam and overcome it that's why they did it. They did it to mock him, to make him look like a king and make fun of him, spit him, pulled his beard out, slapped him, hit him in a reed in the, in the head with a reed while he was wearing the crown of thorns, some say. But this is Adam's thorns that Jesus wore on his head. It was his thorns that he bore. So let's think about this a minute. So basically Jesus bore the curse of Adam. The, in 1 Corinthians, I believe it was, talked about the first man, Adam, was earthly. The second was heavenly. He was He's the son of God. He didn't have to come down here, but he chose to. And he chose to bear the sins of the world. When they placed the crown of thorns and they mocked him, they were literally saying, you are the king of the Jews. Well, guess what? He's the king of the whole entire world. Whether we receive him or not, he's still king. And he bore this for you. So th let me say this. These crown, these thorns are your thorns and my thorns. Those nails in his hands and his feet was our nails. And that cross was our cross. And he bore all of our sins. Past, present when this was happening, and every person after, Jesus bore the sins of the whole world. It was your crown and your thorns. It was your cross and your nails and he took them i wonder what adam would say today if he could look back in uh, forward in time and see that jesus wore 
his thorns, the thorns and the thistles that would be brought up in the ground. It was Jesus, the Son of God, that did this, and he did it for you, and he did it for me. I'm